All right, all right. Let's all move right, forward. Abdullah real quick. Mason. We're going to Abdullah real quick. Let's do Abdullah. Man, Abdullah I got, Mason. I got a statement. Uh, I got a statement. I, I, all I, what, what is he at? 130? 135? I say 130, 135. He's 19 years old. The big names right now. Hey, man, do what y'all got to do. <laughs> Get out of the way. He's coming. Abdullah Mason is coming. That's all I got to say. You, and, gotta, you know, I knew they was real. I'm driving to work one day. It's about 10, 11 o'clock. It's hot as hell. I'm like, who is these ass people running? It's Abdullah Mason and his family. Yeah, and the whole running. family. Running. The whole family. Yeah, it's the, I, I said the family. The whole family. I see him, yeah. and then I, I was like, man, this, this dude is getting it in right now. It's yeah. hot. Yeah. Like, he's committed to this. You got to start mentioning him with uh, Boots in it. But they mentioned him with Mayweather last night. You got to you got to mention him. Damn. I, I, I think Mayweather is a is a bit far. Yeah. But He's when you special. talk about fighters who are just extremely gifted and special, the fighter you talk about now as it pertains to that is Boots Ennis. Mm -hmm. And when I was watching this kid last night, all due respect, I know he wasn't in the ring with somebody who could could really challenge him or anything like that, but. As I'm watching the way he moves and the way he boxes and just this clean boxing style and all that, Boots Ennis came to mind. And I'm like, as good as Boots is right now, and we have put so much respect on his name and the things that he's done to this point, mm -hmm. and you, the best, the best thing you can say in terms of a comparison to Boots Ennis is Roy Jones Jr. in terms mm -hmm. of just raw ability, talent, and plus, because I know he's doing some other things over there in Philly that's some next level type stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, this kid is showing those same attributes, those same talents. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yo, if you're talking about boots like this, let's start talking about this kid like this because he's a force. Yeah. And every time he gets on TV, he shows us he's sharp on defense. He's sharp on offense. He got shit in his bag, Sean, at 19 years old. If y'all ain't watched Abdullah Mason, go back and watch him now. And this is what this is what I'm talking about. You'll see him get hit with a shot. And as he's getting hit with that shot and that hand is coming back and all of he's correcting himself in live motion in that moment. And he don't get hit with the same punch again. That's that's the kind of talent that's like, you really can't teach that. You know what I mean? And, and you, you, say, you say that, Sean. I, I was thinking that. I'm like... This dude, this kid's on that level with. Food. And that ain't even talking about his office. That's just talking about how he corrects his mistakes. You know what I mean? And how he gets better in the moment and 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 goes out and puts it down like that of a boots in this. And now they 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 kept throwing the Floyd on him. The one thing I will say about the kid is like what you said. He make adjustments. He's the type of kid going to. I've seen Floyd. I see Floyd did this a lot. He go at the end of the round. He'll go sit down. He's listening, but Floyd's also correcting in his head. Okay, I didn't do this right. I do that. Da, da, da. It's a that's yeah. this kid. Yeah, this kid like him. His dad. His dad's a trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he listened yeah. to his dad, but at the end of the day, he knows what I gotta do. This yeah. I gotta do that. Yeah. He, his ring IQ is above a nineteen year old. Yeah. Man. It's just uh, and it, it was one of them things for me where when I fought Errol, and I laugh about this because Errol caught me with. Three hooks in a row. It mm -hmm. was like we box and boom, he got me with a hook. And then we box and boom, he got me with a hook. And then he, we box and then boom, he got me with another. Like Get the fuck out the those way. were yeah. the three yeah. punches he hit me with, like clean. Yeah. Those three clean shots. And I was like, Yo, I ain't getting hit with another yeah. one of them. And it was like in that motion of that moment, that was my thought. And it's like so many things going on. And it was like, Yo, I had to pay close attention to what I'm getting hit with, correct it in that moment, and then move on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So. Those are like just the things you can't teach. You can't teach comfortable uh, comfortability in the ring. You can't teach confidence. You know what I mean? Like those things are innate. They're in you. You're yeah, born with staying it. Staying calm and no matter what. Staying calm no matter you what. You guys are I mean? in the fire for every, every second's in the fire. Yeah. So you're yeah. trying to stay. Yeah. You got a fire. You got a fire around you. You trying yeah. to stay calm. Right? Yeah. This whole thing. That, yeah. That is nuts. So I never thought you, about that. Yeah, like I that. never thought about it. Either. Yeah. I just said it. Yeah. But y'all really trying to stay. Calm and this whole this this forest fire is going on around you, yeah. and you just literally just uh, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. I mean, think about it. I know my dad would always say, when you when you slip to the inside, stay low and stay under the bullets. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with war. You know what I mean? You yeah. have to stay calm in war. You gotta 
or everything coming at you at that point in time. You got to rely on your training. Mm -hmm. You got to rely on on those around you, your team, mm -hmm. to get you through. You know what I mean? 